five production lines lie idle at Ward's fish processing plant in Killybegs today. Over 60 people who should be working here have no fish to process after a Danish vessel, which was due to land 1,200 tonnes of blue whiting, turned around and left yesterday. The vessel was subject to a controlled weighing of its catch, but the way this was to be done would have damaged the fish. Catches of pelagic fish which we process must be suspended in chilled seawater to maintain the quality. What the SFP are asking us to do is to dewater that catch, take it out of the chilled seawater, and that then destroys the quality and makes it unfit for human consumption. Essentially the process for weighing the fish by the authorities is part of a control measure. It's unfit for purpose. So essentially the skipper decided to sail out the harbour and land the product to a third country. We had to pay off yesterday 64 staff with immediate effect. There will be more job losses uh, and it, the reputational damage to Killybegs as a seafood processing sector uh, is disastrous. Other international vessels have already indicated that they'll also go to other EU ports, ports that are governed by the same rules, but rules the industry in Killybegs say are being over-interpreted here. The Sea Fisheries Protection Agency, the SFPA, say that an industry-owned water separator which would have preserved the quality of the fish was offered to the master of the vessel. But people in the industry here say there's no such thing in Killybegs. The SFPA says it's been actively working to secure approval of a formal control plan to enable the derogation of weighing of fish. But in Killybegs, they say, urgent political intervention is needed now. This is not happening in, in any other European country. It's just here that there's a policy of crucifixion and a policy that's going to ultimately lead to the destruction of the entire fishing industry in this country. And someone, someone has to shout stop. Eileen Magner, RTE News, Killybegs.